Welcome, my name is Brandon Leafblad. I'm here to give you a full demonstration of the new AudioFusion wireless personal monitoring system. AudioFusion is a software-based solution for monitoring live music performance that delivers real-time audio over Wi-Fi at a fraction of the cost of hardware-based monitoring systems using the laptops and smartphones you already own. There are three pieces to the system. Soundcaster, which is the main control center designed to run on a laptop. Performer, which is the app used by each of the individual musicians on their mobile device to receive each individual channel of audio and customize their own mix. And Director, the tablet app the sound technician or monitor engineer can use to remotely control the audio output from Soundcaster, centrally label and assign instruments, as well as hear and customize each musician's individual mix. All right, let's take a little closer look at how the three applications work together and a few examples of typical scenarios to show you how you can use AudioFusion in your next live performance. This video is a how-to on operating AudioFusion, but along the way, I'll also give you a few tips and tricks that I've learned from using the system more than 50 times in live performance. The brains of the operation, Soundcaster, is designed to run on a laptop computer. Soundcaster packages up the full multi-track audio from any connected audio device and broadcasts it over Wi-Fi to the app the musician can use to both hear and customize their monitor mix right on their own mobile device. I'm running Soundcaster today on a 2016 MacBook Pro. The minimum system requirement to run Soundcaster is Mac OS 10.12 or newer. Apple has eliminated the USB and Ethernet ports on the latest MacBooks, so my 2016 has only Thunderbolt 3 ports. If your MacBook does not have USB or Ethernet ports, then you'll need to get a dongle or a docking hub that has Ethernet as well as two or three USB ports. No matter if your performance is in studio or on stage, you need to connect your computer directly to the soundboard or front of house mixer, or to a digital audio interface. If you have a newer digital mixer, AudioFusion can get all the multi-channel audio it needs through the USB connection, just like any digital audio workstation. The digital mixer must have a USB Type-B connector. Some older digital mixers have the Type-A USB connectors, which do not provide the true multi-track audio. If you have an older mixer with a FireWire digital connection, you may need a desktop hub, such as this OWC brand Thunderbolt FireWire docking hub in order to get the digital audio into your computer. Your digital audio input devices provide the audio coming in. For the audio going out, be sure the laptop is connected to a Wi-Fi router. And for best quality, we recommend you use a hardwired Ethernet connection to a Wi-Fi router dedicated just for your audio fusion monitoring system in order to avoid the congestion of a public or general house Wi-Fi network. Once you have the system set up with audio coming in from your digital audio source, and ready to broadcast over Wi-Fi, go ahead and fire up Soundcaster. The first screen that comes up when you open Soundcaster, you see that we have the master volume slider over here on the left-hand side. And over on the right-hand side, we have a drop-down menu for input devices. And this is any audio device that's connected to the computer. We can select, uh, in this case, I'll go ahead and select the XR18, our little Behringer mixer uh, for this session. And Soundcaster will automatically detect all the channels that are available from that mixer. And so what we need to do is just simply deactivate any of the channels that we don't want to include in the mix. So right now I have eight channels of audio running through the Behringer. So I'm going to deactivate everything from nine and above. And what Soundcaster allows you to do is you can modify the volume of each of the individual channels. You can go and relabel. So, so I know that track one is our click. Input two is our guide, or what some folks call the cue. But if I didn't know what one of the channels were, I can simply click on it, and it'll solo that channel. And it'll tell me, so this must be our electric. Sounds like piano. Now if we want to, 
we can go up here to devices at the top and if you select input monitoring what it'll do is it'll allow all the audio coming into Soundcaster to be simultaneously broadcast on the MacBook itself. And then you can hear all of the channels coming in. Let me turn down the master volume here for us. Just keep in mind that any changes that you make here are universal. Those will get sent out to all of the performers and the director running audio. Performer is our app for mobile devices. Any musician can download Performer for free and use it to receive audio from a laptop running Soundcaster. Performer, in essence, turns your iPhone into a wireless IEM body pack, or in other words, a wireless receiver for your in-ear monitors. I'm running Performer today on an iPhone 6. We like iPhone 6 because it still has a good old-fashioned headphone jack, but Audio Fusion will run well on any iPhone 6 or newer. The first thing we'll do is check some of our device settings before launching the Performer app. You can access everything you need in settings, and the first thing that you'll want to check is that your device is connected to the Wi-Fi router through which Soundcaster is broadcasting the audio. Here I can see I am indeed connected to my Linksys router, and we recommend using the usually less cluttered 5 GHz band on a dual band router. Once I know I'm connected to the correct router, I like to access the rest of my settings quickly through the control center. From the home page, simply swipe up from the bottom. First, we recommend placing the device in airplane mode and then reactivating Wi-Fi in order to avoid getting any phone calls or notifications during your performance. I like to keep my brightness setting at 50% or less in order to conserve battery power during a long performance and I found that the battery on our devices running Audio Fusion will last three or four hours on a full charge if I turn off the screen between adjustments. Make sure that the volume is control on the device is all the way up in order to give performer full control of the volume inside the app. Performer will open on the main page with the generic Musicians Mix. If Performer is already connected to Soundcaster, you will be given generic icons as placeholders, including the default labeling provided by the audio device. Across the top, we can confirm that we are both in airplane mode and connected to Wi-Fi. One, on the left-hand side at the top, one, clicking two, the M three, in the circle four. gives us access to the master volume slider drawer. This is the master volume for the entire mix on this device. Simply slide the drawer back in to close it. Master volume can also be adjusted for the device by using the physical controls on the device itself. Chorus. By clicking on one of the icons, I can make changes to the individual instrument signals. With the main slider, I can adjust the volume of this instrument in my mix. Any changes I make here will only affect my mix and will not affect the volume for any of the other band members or what the audience hears in the house. I can click the guitar pick icon with the S to solo the instrument, or I can mute this instrument by, uh, in my mix by using the speaker icon. Clicking edit in the upper right hand corner takes us to a screen where we can give the instrument an icon and create our own custom label for this instrument signal. Tag. Be sure to click done to close out the keyboard before going on to other adjustments. I can pan the audio left or right, which can help me hear all the instruments better by creating some separation of the audio in my head and better represent the relative spatial relationships of the instruments on stage. Once I've made the changes I need, I click done to return to the individual instrument adjustment screen. Swiping the instrument icon left or right will scroll through a virtual carousel of each of the active instrument signals where I can again make adjustments to each of the signals in my mix without having to go back to the performer's main screen, which I can do by pressing the back arrow. While helpful, labeling the instruments yourself can be cumbersome, but when performer is connected to the director, all the labeling can be done automatically and the musician's name assigned to the device. Clicking the gear icon in the upper right hand corner will take me to a list of all enabled and deactivated instruments. You can see that the first eight instruments are bright indicating that they are active and the remaining deactivated icons are slightly grayed out. 
clicking any instrument icon will give me the option to indicate if this is my instrument, highlighting the icon in red. I can deactivate any active icons or reactivate any instruments I've turned off, how, uh, and Performer will allow me to activate or deactivate any instrument signals that have been provided to me from Soundcaster. Again, click Done to return to the Performer main page. Once you have the mix just the way you want it, you can slip your device in your back pocket, set it on your music stand, or utilize any number of third-party clips and stands available on the market today. Together, Soundcaster and Performer provide wireless in-ear monitoring at a fraction of the cost of hardware-based systems. Director, the third piece of our system, provides an even more powerful functionality that takes Audio Fusion to a whole new level. Director was designed to be operated on a tablet by the sound technician or monitor engineer. Director opens on the main page, which is the stage plot view. By clicking the musician icon at the bottom of the page, you can see your tray of musicians. Simply tap a musician to add them to the stage plot. Drag the musicians around to give yourself a graphical representation of the musician's location on stage so that you'll be able to find them easily during the performance. Open up the menu in the upper left hand corner and you'll see the three main functions of Director. Click on the first item called Audio Inputs. Using the Audio Input screen, Director becomes a remote control for all the audio input settings on Soundcaster. Scrolling through the inputs, you can see that Director has visibility to all 18 instrument signals coming in from our Behringer XR18 digital mixer. We can adjust the levels of each of the inputs and select which channels we want to include in the mix. We have eight instruments in our demo today, so I will deactivate audio inputs 9 through 18. stage plot view. The second menu item is instruments. From here you can create custom labels or badges for each of the instrument signals. Currently Performer is limited to receiving 16 instrument signals represented by each of the 16 badges here on Director's Instrument View. Instead of retyping a label for each and every audio input, simply apply one of the badges you've created in the instruments view to the audio input by clicking on the label and selecting the audio input from the drop-down menu. You can also associate the instrument to any of the musicians you've created. By default, the instrument signals are routed 1 through 16, but for example, I know that click is on 1, guide, or what some people call cue, is on 2, and piano is on 3. So I will simply apply these instrument labels to those audio inputs. Again, Press and holding will solo the audio to help you confirm you've applied the label to the correct input. Once you've applied your instrument labels, you can drag to reorder them visually without affecting the routing. Again, click Done to return to the stage plot. The third menu item is Musicians, and from here you can create new musicians, associate them with an instrument, and assign them to any of the devices connected to and authorized by Soundcaster. Click Done to return to the stage plot. Add any new musicians to the stage. Once the musician has been added to the stage plot and assigned to the correct device, the director can tap the musician's icon and hear the exact same mix the musician is hearing on Performer. The director can make changes just like a traditional sound check, but with the added benefit of being able to hear the changes along with the artist. When a device is assigned to a musician, the device will flash and the musician's name will appear at the top of the performer app. This simultaneous control is extremely powerful. During sound check, I can make changes and get my mix really dialed in on performer. During the performance, however, if things change or I run into trouble with my mix, it may be difficult to make changes on the fly. The director can punch into my mix and make any changes I need without me having to reach for my device. Thanks so much for watching today. Go to the App Store, download Audio Fusion, and try it for yourself. For more information on Audio Fusion, visit our website and watch the other helpful videos we have on our YouTube channel. Be sure to join our mailing list so we can keep you up to date on all the exciting things happening at Audio Fusion. Mm -hmm.